Orleans East, and it's always good to be joined by my colleague, I will say, Councilwoman Cindy Wynn on the New Orleans City Council, who is a fearless leader uh, for the East, and also our state representative, Jason Hughes, who is with us this morning, stepped right on in, didn't look back, hit the ground running at the state capitol and delivered uh, for the city of New Orleans. And it really is a privilege to have you uh, with us this morning. Or also join uh, with me, I have Marjoriana Willman. Marjoriana, where are you? Okay, this is our Director of Office of Housing Policy and Community Development. Marjoriana has been a true asset to our city delivering resources for affordable housing throughout the city. Not looking back. Thank you, Miss Margiana. Where's Miss Yvette Hester? She couldn't make it. Well, let me tell you, Yvette Hester stepped up, said, I wanted to come to the city of New Orleans. I want to lead Hanno, and again, has done just that in less than a year's time, delivering results for this city. Michael Toubre, thank you so much for this investment here. But let me tell you, the city of New Orleans and the Cantrell administration overwhelmingly made affordable housing a top priority since day one, committed to creating affordable housing across our entire city. But while doing it, also understanding that every fabric of our city is different, the needs of every neighborhood is different, and for New Orleans East, we want affordable housing, but we want it in terms of senior housing, senior living, what we're celebrating here this morning, but also home ownership. So that's what we're pushing here in New Orleans East this morning. Senior living, home ownership also for families in our city. We'll talk a little bit more about that throughout uh, this groundbreaking. You all know, and if you don't, this redevelopment will be 200 units of senior living that New Orleans East truly did benefit from pre-Katrina. In that post-Katrina environment, we know that we still have lost a lot of units that deal with meeting our seniors where they are and our people who are living with disabilities in our community. They deserve nothing but the best. We know also that the city of New Orleans committed over 1.5 million to this project, again, making sure that this project became and will become a reality. That was made possible by uh, development dollars that the city had in our 2019 NOFA that we activated for this project. This includes also, we have right now invested in New Orleans East over 211 million plan projects for District E. This is a part of our infrastructure work that is a priority for our city as well. 11 projects have already been completed, totaling 36 million. And that's been since May of 2018 when we came in. But last month, my good friend over here approved a budget ordinance by request of allocating an additional 35 million to be added to the 2020 budget, COVID-19 responses, but at the end of the day, focusing on housing for this city. Marjoriana went to bat for that money. That was earmarked literally for our city, not having to come through the state of Louisiana. No, not, not down, not down playing my brother over here. But let me tell you, we have to activate all of our resources on every level to deliver for our city. And that's what we're doing. New Orleans East has also been right on the ground with us as we had to deal with our homeless population. And I'm looking at Reverend Rowe out here. I see you now. And I got some, not, I'm listen. And I got some feedback from some of our residents when we had to activate. We, we had to, because we had to get our people off the street. And while we have been very successful at moving over 67 of our people that we've removed off the street since March, they have been moved into permanent affordable housing. We're not there yet, but we're moving in the right direction. So I can go on and on and on. But on Monday, July the 27th, yep, this Monday, the Office of Community Development began taking applications for tenants residing in Orleans Parish 
who are in imminent danger of being evicted. So we found absolutely resources because we, there's not enough, bottom line. But you have to make tough decisions determining how you shift those dollars to meet people where they are so that they can get the help that they need. So to all of our residents there who find themselves in, in these circumstances, know that you can go to NOLA.gov, you can click the get help, and all of these resources are there for you to take advantage of. People need to take advantage of them. You know, we say it takes a village, and it does. But the village has to be willing to take advantage of those resources and not leave those dollars on the table. So with that, I'm going to ask. Um, I know that I have our councilwoman here to speak. I'm also going to ask our state representative to speak. And we have to hear from uh, our fierce leader in housing, Ms. Uh, Margiana Wilman. So I'm going to start with Councilwoman Wynn. Good afternoon. I don't know about you guys, but I am extremely emotional. Very moved at this moment, just looking out into the audience and reflecting back on what the East has been through and as a district. And as the mayor indicated, it takes a whole village to get things done. And as your council member, as your representative for this area, I wanna thank you for participating in good times and in bad times. But we're gonna pull through this together because I really believe the East, if not already guys, is back on the map. We're open for business and we're gonna continue to work with partners that's gonna bring this type of development to our community. So with that, just wanted to share with you guys some thoughts. As many of you guys know, I have a special place in my heart for seniors. I came back to New Orleans because of my grandparents and because of my parents. Our aging population is so vital to our culture and community, and they deserve quality housing, quality housing. 15 years ago, Katrina destroyed this facility, which was then home to 200 seniors. Unfortunately, those seniors have had to move away out of their community, away from their families, to other locations throughout the city and our community was left with this blighted building. I am so excited. I am actually crying inside, literally. So excited to be part of this groundbreaking. It's been a minute. It's been a long journey where, where we can announce that on October the 31st, 2021, guys, construction will be completed and we can welcome seniors to their new home, Lake Forest Manor. A huge thank to TKTMJ and Michael Tubray who have taken on this project. My mayor, your mayor, Mayor Cantrell, thank you so much for continuing to advocate for the needs in the East. You have made your commitment before during campaigning and you continue to carry that through. And I really appreciate your leadership and your partnership in recognizing that the East should stay and continue to be on the map. I also want to acknowledge the Louisiana Housing Corporation, HANO, the Office of Community Development. As the mayor indicated, Margiana, thank you for also being that voice, because you need more than one voice. You need a whole team. So really appreciate it. I also want to thank my staff. My team, I, I don't know you guys, I have Victoria here, I have Terry Guerin, um, the, other the other team members are actually responding to the needs of our community, have worked really hard on this project to make this dream a reality for our community. You guys, District E is where family always comes first. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I am so excited to be here this morning. Um, since being elected, I have been blessed to make so many friends, but I have to first acknowledge my dear friend and partner in this work, the extraordinary Madam Mayor Cantrell, uh, for your leadership. She has been a partner every step of the way. Even in the midst of a global pandemic, she has never lost sight on governing our city, and she has not lost sight on New Orleans East. I don't know when she sleeps because I bother her more than I desire to bother her. And whether I text her at 6 a.m. or 10 p.m. about any issue, 
Last week it was the census. Not only does she respond immediately, but she has a grip on all of these issues. And I'm just blown away. But Madam Mayor, it has been such a pleasure uh, to call you a friend and a partner in this work and to uh, be alongside you in this effort. So thank you so much. Uh, to Councilwoman Wynn, thank you so much uh, for your leadership uh, in this work. The residents of New Orleans East have made it clear. They don't want leaders with egos. They just want people that are going to put their egos aside, roll up their sleeves, and do the work. And I want you to know that your leaders in New Orleans East are doing that. Uh, we're not just making promises behind the scenes. We're trying to deliver results. And this is one great example. And it's a testament of what can happen when we all work together. As the mayor said, long before she was even elected to the, to, to the mayorship or the city council, uh, when she was in the trenches at Broadmoor, affordable housing for all of our citizens have always been at the forefront. And our senior citizens at the prime of their lives on a daily basis, I hear from seniors that may own a home, but they can no longer handle the upkeep of a home. Or affordability has become a problem. And so not only having housing, but quality housing stock is so important. And so Madam Mayor, Councilwoman Wynn, Governor Edwards, Louisiana Housing Corporation, Keith Cunningham, and all of those um, that have made this happen, Thank you so much for your leadership. Thank you for your partnership in New Orleans East. Get ready, because our brightest day is our head. Thank you. Thank you so much. All I can say is I am so appreciative for Madam Mayor. Uh, when she hired me, uh, she made it clear what my marching orders would be and what she wanted for the city in terms of housing and helping our people. And I answered the call, and I'm so glad I did. I could not work for a better mayor. I agree. I don't know when she sleep either. Sometimes when I leave work, I look down, and I see her car still there, and I feel guilty. But I'm tired. And, but she never quits, and she holds the bar high, and I strive to reach it every day. And I just want the people of New Orleans East to know that the Office of Community Development is open for business. In terms of housing, we are calling all uh, developers that are interested in developing and building quality housing. We are open for that. I am open for any type of conversation. And we have big plans for New Orleans East, uh, rest assured. And I think you'll be very happy with them. But before I end, I definitely want to just introduce Tyra Johnson Brown, who's our director of housing. She works across the board with development as well as homelessness. I couldn't do it without her. She's amazing. I have an amazing team, let me just say it, everybody, but she's definitely amazing. And also Richard Bozeman is our construction director. You'll be seeing him as well. And, and uh, they do a great job. So thank you, thank you Councilwoman for uh, uh, being open to our ideas and our plans. And I just wanna keep doing work. When I pulled up, I was so excited. I'm like, yes, this is gonna be amazing. So I, I'm so excited and thank you. It takes good partners and um, the development community. We have some good people and good partners. And so I can't think of a better one right now. And I want to introduce Michael. Michael, come on up and give us a few little words. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, 15 months since we first submitted our application to the Louisiana Housing Corporation. So I've got little kids, so you can think of, they watch a lot of Scooby-Doo. So think about a Scooby-Doo sized sandwich. It takes each one of those pieces to make that work. So my goal here today is to thank all of the representatives of those agencies, the mayor and her Office of Community Development for getting us the last bit of funding that got us across the finish line, uh, Council Member Cindy Wynn and Victoria and Terry in her office who have helped us every step of the way, uh, Mar Marjorie office, Office of Community Development, um, State Rep Jason Hughes and who represents Louisiana Housing Corporation and uh, Office of Community Development for the state of Louisiana uh, and Ms. Yvette Hester and Hanno, who provide the rent that makes our mortgage possible. So all of those things are were, were critical to combine as a true public-private partnership. And it did take a village, but the village got it done. So thank you to all of you, and we look forward to a beautiful development. All right, let's move on to
Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Madam Mayor.